in this video i'm going to take you guys through using uh, your custom domain on your AWS ec2 instance firstly let's create our elastic ip ip uh, this will enable us to reuse the elastic ip even if the instance goes down or we terminate the instance you can still reuse the same ip address uh, the ip address that's been created now let's create an instance we come here and launch it one i'm going to use amazon linux 2 and here we choose t2 the, the one that comes with free tier and here we need to install our server Let's add some content to our, to our index.html file in the server. Click next. Let's click next again. Uh, let's configure our security groups. Here we need to add a, another rule to allow us to access the server. Uh, let's view and launch. It looks fine. So here you can config, can create a new new key pair. I've already created a key pair. I'm going to use the the one that I've already created. Okay, the instance has been created. Let's see if it is running. It's currently in pending state. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, it is up and running now. Let's see if we can access the server. can access the server as you can see here uh, but now the next step is to associate the elastic ip to our instance uh, let's come here and associate right let's wait for a bit i think it it is currently working. Okay, it is working. So now the next step is to enable our domain to point to this IP address. Um, let's go to my Nipchip account here. Then I'm going to change this IP address to point to this one. Let's go to this. The request took forever to update, but let's see if we can access our EC2 instance from our domain. Okay. I'm going to type this in. Alrighty, so you can see now our domain points to our EC2 instance. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.